Hi, Adam Ring here. And I'd like to talk a little bit about the differences between stepper motors and servo motors. Now basically there's a difference in the way that they're constructed and controlled. Stepper motor is typically a 50 to 100 pole brushless motor, whereas a servo is typically a 4 to 12 pole brushless motor. The stepper, as you can see here, typically doesn't have any kind of encoder for feedback. Sometimes you can add it later on as an option, whereas a servo is always built with some sort of feedback device, whether it be an encoder or a resolver, in order to tell its drive the position of the motor shaft. Now, if we take a look at the speed torque curves for each of these motors, they're very different. A stepper motor has a lot of torque at lower speeds. In fact, quite a bit of holding torque. Because of so many poles, there, it can have a lot of holding torque at low speed. And then the faster that you run, that torque actually starts to drop off. If we look at the speed torque curve of a servo motor, it's actually very, very flat. And you get a constant torque regardless of what speed you're traveling up until its maximum speed. Now, when we look at the amount of current that a particular motor draws, a stepper motor typically is gonna draw full current, whether it's sitting still or running. In some cases, drives that you use with them may have a feature where they can reduce the current if they sit still for a long enough time. But other than that, they're basically just drawing full current all the time, which also produces extra heating, as you can imagine. Servo motor, on the other hand, it only uses the amount of current that's required in order to get the motor to hold or move as demanded by the application. And so typically they're gonna run a lot cooler and they also have a neat little feature that enables them to produce on occasion two to three times their rated torque for short periods of time as a peak rating. And we look at the cost of installing a stepper or a servo motor. As you can imagine, a stepper motor is typically gonna cost less. The motor construction is simpler. You don't typically have the feedback and the electronics to control the motor are typically simpler and less expensive. With a servo motor, obviously they are gonna have some sort of feedback device built into the motor. And then the drives that we use to control them typically are a little bit more uh, involved when it comes to how they're designed and built and typically cost a little bit more. A little bit about the applications that these might be used in. Typically a stepper motor is used in applications requiring about 2,000 RPM or less where you need a lot of torque at the low end, whereas a servo motor is typically used for your higher speed applications that are more dynamic and require higher acceleration and deceleration rates, typically 2,000 RPM and higher. So depending on whether you're doing indexing moves with a light load or very dynamic moves with heavier loads, you can choose to use either the stepper or the servo motor. Whether you're in the market to purchase a stepper motor or a servo motor or not really sure which one is the best choice, visit InnovativeIDM.com. We have a excellent knowledge center where you can come and research differences, catalogs, white papers, videos, and learn more. After all, we're innovative, the home of the legendary customer experience.